Uh, I want to um, introduce you first to something that should no, need no introduce, introduction for most of you. This is the, the um, really the highlight real moment for the Civil War navies and for the subject of Civil War naval technology. This is, of course, two images of the Battle of Hampton Roads, March 8th and March 9th, uh, 1862. The Battle of the Monitor and the Merrimack. Of course, most of you, all of you, I hope in this room know that it wasn't the Monitor and the Merrimack, but the Monitor and the CSS uh, Virginia converted from the Merrimack. More on that later. But this significant moment, this significant battle, not only in the American Civil War, but in uh, world naval history. The reaction to the news of this battle reached around the world and was immediately and universally the same. Now comes the reign of iron, and cased sloops are taking the place of wooden ships, said one American naval officer. The Times of London, upon hearing the news. Whereas we, the British, had available, or for immediate purposes, 149 first-class warships, we now have two, those being the warrior and her sister, Ironside. So just what happened on March 8th and 9th, 1862, that accounted for this revolution in naval technology? Really, it was not so much of a revolution, but an evolution, but more on that later. The, the, the typical shorthand for the Battle of Hampton Roads was that it was the first duel of the ironclads on March 9th, which is correct. And sometimes that is reduced incorrectly to be the first ironclads, which is not co correct. The Battle of Hampton Roads was the first time that, two, that an ironclad warship, a self-motored uh, or self-powered, that is, war ironclad warship, sunk other warships in battle. And then the following day, March 9th, on the bottom slide, that two ironclad warships fought against each other. But these were not the first ironclad warships in history. Uh, as I mentioned, this was more a product of evolution than of, of revolution per se. 